in inpatient coding msdrg is having more important than any other topic inpatient payment totally depends on msdrg which we will usually use it for principal diagnosis so based on the drg only hospital will get the payment here if you are going for any type of inpatient interview in interview most of the time interviewer will ask you about msdrg so what is msdrg and they will ask you two scenarios and they will ask you to tell the which scenario and which code you can use it for this scenario my name is harik gupta medical coder process trainer content creator for pass coder 21 free medical coding youtube channel in my channel i will provide latest updates about ict-ncm cpt and hic fix and also i will provide latest updates about apc's free chapter webinars as well as i will provide latest jobs in medical coding and medical billing spread over usa uae and india so today our topic is inpatient coding msdrg example scenarios step by step so here i am going to teach you step by step process so before going to learn our scenarios we need to understand few important concept which are very essential in order to understand msdrg so here msdrg so medicare cvrt diagnosis related group is a system to classify hospital cases into one of approximately 755 groups also referred to as drgs expected to have similar hospital resource use so basically as all of us know we have uh, nearly thousands of icd 10 cm codes so what happens here medicare will divide all these icd 10 cm codes into groups based on the resources needed to treat that condition so based on that uh, medicare will decide the groups we are currently having approximately 755 groups usually we'll call it as drgs so here msdrg means medicare severity diagnostic related group so we have different types of drgs like we have apr drg also but uh, most of the time all insurance payer, payers will use msdrg which is the most common drg system so basically in msdrg we are going to have different groups nearly 755 groups among all our is 10 cm codes which are divided based on the similar hospital resource next we need to understand components of msdrg so basically msdrg will depends on the principal diagnosis so based on the principal diagnosis we are having the msdrg weights and any secondary diagnosis usually in secondary diagnosis we will use like scc and mcc conditions next we have all procedures based on procedures also msdrg will change and based on patient gender and ds and also patient discharge status so these are the components of msdrg so for example any one component if you code incorrectly so total msdrg will be changed so while coding msdrg you need to check principal diagnosis all other secondary diagnosis all procedures patient gender and ds and patient's discharge status so in order to find correct msdrg you need to take care about all these components next we need to about cc so basically cc is complication and comorbidity so a cc is a secondary diagnosis that represents a condition that coexists exists with the primary diagnosis and affects the patient's treatment and length of stay so basically ccs are complication and comorbidities so as we have discussed previously all the secondary diagnosis comes under ccs and mcc ccs are less severe than mccs so mcc are more severe than ccs so basically ccs are used to adjust the msdrg assignment and increase the reimbursement level so in our, whenever you will code inpatient record you need to concentrate on like cc mcc also as directly these cc mcc will impact the msdrg and indirectly impact the payment rate so if you code 
SEC and MCC appropriately, reimbursement will level will be uh, level will be up. So common examples of CCs include diabetes, hypertension, or chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. Next, we need to know about MCCs. So these are major complication or comorbidity. So MCCs more severe condition than a CC and has a greater impact on the patient's treatment and resource utilization. So as we have discussed, this principal diagnosis and CCs, MCCs are total depends on the resources utilized by the patient. So MCCs also influence the MADRG assignment and result in higher reimbursement. So for example, of MCCs include acute myocardial infarction, sepsis or respiratory failure. So in the documentation, if the patient is having, if you don't code sepsis, so you are going to benefit insurance company as they are not going to pay money for sepsis. So in order to code properly and in order to get correct MSDRG, so you need to code all secondary diagnoses including CC and MCC in appropriate way in order to get proper reimbursement. So now today we are going to see two scenarios. Guys, uh, please like, comment, share and subscribe to FastCoder21 if you are visiting for the first time. So if you click on like button and comment so it will motivate me to provide more valuable sessions in order to get you knowledge about inpatient coding. So now we are going to learn one example scenario. So Harrison has pyelonephritis and dehydration and both are equally treated which MSDRG will have the highest weight. So here patient is having pyelonephritis and dehydration. So always CMS will publish IPPS rule, inpatient prospective coding system, there you will get the uh, DRG related weights for each and every code. So here we need to find which is having the highest weight. So for example, our pyelonephritis code is N12, dehydration is E860. So pyelonephritis comes under DRG 690, its weight is 0 0.8069. So these values are approximately. So you need to follow your client and you need to code. And dehydration, CP, ICD code is E86.0 and DRG 641. So its weight is 0 0.7814. So if you are learning IPDRG and if you don't know MSDRG, so here we need to code more value code here. So basically here we need to code pyelonephritis as which is having the highest relative weight so which is 0 0.8069 so if you are doing live coding you need to worry your encoder will show you what is the relative weight for the each and every condition and here we will learn one more scenario the patient is a 57 year old patient who has pneumonia and congestive heart failure which msdrg will have higher weight so basically here CHF is having higher weight. Why means pneumonia is a CC condition. So as we have discussed previously, so if the patient or physician will treat patient for CHF as pneumonia is a CC condition, here physician will get more reimbursement for CHF with CC condition which is pneumonia. So for that 1.2839, so these values are approximately as usual. So for example, if the physician has treated the patient for pneumonia, so here our PDX will be the pneumonia. So pneumonia will be the PDX and CHF relative weight is very low compared to pneumonia. So here we need to code 0.6256 as pneumonia is a PDX here, not CC condition, it is a PDX or principal diagnosis. So basically here DRG will change based on the patient's encounter. So what does the patient is having and what did the physician identify during the patient's inpatient encounter. So if you have any doubts you can mention in the comment section. I will try to clarify all your doubt. Just basically here you need to remember MSDRG means Medicare Severity Diagnostic Related Group. 
which is the technique and also msdrg divides into mdcs major diagnostic categories so again mdc is divided into like uh, diagnosis drg and surgical drg so for diagnosis drg we'll use icd10 cm code for surgical drg we'll use icd10 pcs codes so in outpatient coding so the secondary diagnosis uh, will not impact more but inpatient coding all these cc and mcc conditions will impact the reimbursement so while coding you need to take care about all cc and mccs like uh, chronic conditions and also you need to correlate our cc and mcc with our pdx i hope this session is very useful for you so if you have any concerns about inpatient coding msdrgs and example scenarios just you can mention in the comment section of this video so just you need to remember we need to code all uh, like pdx and we need to code pdx properly and also in inpatient coding we need to select and we need to code cc mccs are also appropriately as these will directly impacts the msdrg or reimbursement payment thank you guys